Uh, huh. There you are. And here I am. Craig Dolan again, coming to you from Glendale, California. Peace. I hope everything's good with you. Here is another fun idea I was playing with this morning. Um, it's kind of a way to well, in my mind, it slightly manipulates Google, but manipulates in a positive way. It uses the idea that you can, if you put in unrelated items in a search box on Google, Google still has to search and find answers for you. I mean, think of uh, what are a couple of unrelated words. Think of the word hopscotch and the word banana. Now it's kind of hard to think of a relation between those two words, isn't it? Nothing nothing obvious or mainstream comes to mind. But if you put the words hopscotch and banana into the search box on Google, I'm pretty sh and then click enter, I'm pretty sure Google's going to find some hits because the way it's set up it almost has to find hits on any combination and sometimes putting in words that don't seem to have anything to do with each other you might get quite interesting results that you had never thought of that Google will find for you. Now that's fun on the web but I like to use it with the images. Now most people probably know the images part of Google. Um, if you look, if you go to your Google search box, you'll see the word Google, and to the right of that is is the empty search box that you fill in with it, whatever you want to fill in. And then down below, right below that, you, <coughs> you, you'll see several words like reading from left to right, like web, images, video, shopping, news, more. And so when you put your uh, words into the search box, automatically it's going to bring up the web hits. The word web is far to the left. But if you then click on the word images, you'll see images relating to the words you've put in. So to go back to my original example, if you put in hopscotch banana and then click the word images, you're going to see images that Google thought had something to do with both hopscotch and banana. And that can be kind of fun to, uh, again, because Google is set up so that it has to find info that matches what you ask for, even if what you ask for, you happen to know that you didn't have much of a reason that the words didn't have much to do with each other for you. But Google doesn't know that. It just has to search for something that has both those words in it. Then when you click on images, you might see some cool images that somehow combine hopscotch and banana in a creative way or an interesting way or a way you hadn't thought of. But what I've been doing is when I go to the images, I'll choose, I'll use two words, but one of the words will always be art. So, but I might choose for the other word, I might choose something that I might not have ever thought about art that involved that thing. For example, I might choose razor art, the word razor and the word art, and then I'll see what images come up with those two uh, words. And I can tell you I've done that, and they're quite beautiful and interesting, many of the images that come up and I just play with different words that interest me to see and then the word art to see what images are going to come up so I might put lizard the word lizard and the word art and uh, some pretty cool image well that one was a little weak that was just images that was just lizards that were painted in a in an interesting way but they didn't do much beyond just different colors within the traditional shape of a lizard. And then I put in computer, you can also, it doesn't have to be two words, you could put say computer keyboard and then the word art and you'll get some pretty cool images that look at 
look at computer keyboards but from an artistic or creative or novel or interesting way and like I say it could be anything it could be um, now I'm looking out the window and I see a tree I could put tree the word tree and the word art and see what images come up and I guarantee you you'll start seeing things that you wouldn't have thought of that are quite beautiful and that will kind of make you laugh and you'll enjoy it I like the Beatles so I put in the word Beatles and then art and that was pretty cool because um, of course we've all seen a little bit of Beatles art here and there but when you click Google Images you'll see hundreds or thousands of images and some of them are going to be things you hadn't thought of they're going to be very creative and novel and unique so this is fun and uh, I uh, think if you tried it, you'd enjoy it. Um, it uh, superficially, it feels a little like you're taking advantage of Google, but it's a computer program. It doesn't really get its feelings hurt. And uh, actually, in the long run, it's just fun and it opens up your mind. Oh, I put things like the word thinking and then the word art and I got beautiful depictions, artistic images of, uh, of how you could show someone thinking but do it with art. Well, you kind of, I hope you get the idea. If you don't, leave me some questions, but uh, I think for some anyway, this could be a lot of fun.